welcome to the third episode of my Zero Evidence series, where I'll be teaching investigators how to detect what the ghost type is with zero evidence. In this particular mode, we also have zero sanity, meaning the ghost will hunt almost immediately, depending on what type of ghost it is. Bring four incense, a lighter, some salt, motion sensor, parabolic microphone, headset of your choice, firelight, and two crosses. For my objectives, I needed to detect the ghost with a parabolic microphone and an EMF reader, but for my first loadout, I brought in salt to assist me in the first hunt. The ghost immediately hunts. I place down my salt as I hear it coming from the kitchen. With incredible movement speed, it gets trapped in the salt piles and then slows down drastically while coming up the stairs. I realize that I'm dealing with a Diogen. The identity of this ghost is one of the easiest to determine without evidence because its movement speed will be very fast until it gets close to you and slows down to almost a halt. They always know where you are, making hiding useless against a Diogen. Knowing it would be easy, I decided to do a full investigation against this ghost, and I spot the bone in the kitchen. So I return to the truck to grab my tools. Second loadout will be the EMF and the parabolic microphone, and of course the camera, so I can get my photos. I'll leave the EMF reader and parabolic microphone in the kitchen, and then I accidentally take a photo with the camera. Oh well. I continue taking photos that I can. And realize that I at least got a one star photo out of the bone. After realizing the camera didn't want to stay up there, the ghost begins another hunt. I greet her in the living room. say hello, and retreat. Not getting an EMF reading during the hunt. I try to defend myself. Still no EMF reading, even after the hunt. ghost event finally lets me complete the objective. Now all I need to do is get a parabolic response. And unfortunately, ghost events do not count towards the objective. As I get my response, I throw down the microphone and see how many photos I have left. I need six more photos. So I return to the truck. And I grab two salt. Then I change my mind and put one of the salts back and grab two crosses. But then I change my mind again and grab the salt instead. I thought that was a hunt. Place my salt down, grab my camera, and she immediately stepped in the pile. I get my photos and return to the truck. The 
And there we have it. Got our objectives done. All of our photos. And we definitely know the ghost type. detect a Diogen with zero evidence. Good luck. In this bonus video, I will show you how to detect a Myling with zero evidence. Keep in mind, this particular mode, flashlights are turned off. Place your flashlight on the ground and if it is flashing, but you do not hear footsteps, then it is a miling. In this investigation, I could barely hear where the ghost was upstairs. Even after making my way upstairs, it wasn't until I got close that I heard it to my right. of a Myling's footsteps is a dead giveaway. It takes some time to be able to tell. But once you've faced enough ghosts, the loudness of their footsteps will become more and more obvious. And there you have it. That is how you detect a Myling with zero evidence. Good luck. Subscribe for more Zero Evidence Guides.